So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P0174 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P0174 code? Well, it's a system to lean bank two. And what does this mean? Well, there needs to be the right air fuel ratio mixture going into the cylinders. And if this fuel ratio mixture gets off and there's more air than fuel going into the cylinders, then you're gonna get what's called a lean condition. And so when this happens, it's gonna to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And a P0174 code can be kind of problematic sometimes since it can be caused by so many different things. But I'm gonna go over the different things that can cause this and how you go about troubleshooting what the problem is. And V6 or V8 engines are gonna have two banks. Bank one is always the side with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's gonna be bank one. And then the opposite of that is gonna be bank two. And with the P0174 code, bank two is the side that's having the problem. And so what would be some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad oxygen sensor, could be a bad mass airflow sensor, could be a clogged fuel filter, could be the fuel pressure regulator, weak fuel pump, could be a vacuum leak, a bad fuel injector, and possibly the DPFE sensor. Although usually when that happens, you're going to get another code, like a P0401 code. And that is something to pay attention to, that if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to those because they can help point you to what the problem is. And so the thing that's triggering this code is the Bank 2 Sensor 1 Oxygen Sensor, also called the Upstream Oxygen Sensor. And a lot of people, when they get this code, they automatically go swap out this oxygen sensor, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. But if it does go bad, it could be reporting bad data back to the computer and just thinks that there's a lean condition going on. And since that oxygen sensor might be good, I would test it first, but a lot of people just go ahead and replace it. But however you want to do it, the first thing to do is to go check out that Bank 2 Sensor 1 oxygen sensor and be sure that it's working correctly. And so if that O2 sensor is good, the next thing to go and check out is going to be the MAF sensor or the mass airflow sensor. And the mass airflow sensor basically just reports back to the onboard computer all the air that's going into the engine. And so when these sensors go bad or they get really dirty, they can start reporting bad information, which can throw everything off. A very common fix for these is to use mass airflow sensor cleaner and to clean them up real good. That's a very common fix for these. Usually if there's a problem with the bad mass airflow sensor, you're going to get other codes. So you're going to get something like a P0101, which is going to be like mass or volume airflow sensor, something along these lines. So if you are getting any mass airflow sensor codes, be sure to go check out that mass airflow sensor. And so the next thing that could cause this problem is a fuel related issue. And so this is going to be something along the lines of like a clogged fuel filter, a bad fuel pressure regulator, a weak fuel pump. And so there's some different ways you go about troubleshooting this. A very common way is that you use a fuel pressure gauge and you attach it to the fuel rail and you check to see what your vehicle's rated fuel pressure is supposed to be and you check to see if it matches this. So for example, say your fuel pressure is rated to be running at like 50 PSI, but for some reason it's running like at 30 or 40 PSI, then you know there's a problem with the fuel pressure. And if the fuel pressure is weak, then this would be something like a bad fuel filter, which can sometimes be inside of the gas tank. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle and the year and things like this. Quite often, there's inline fuel filters that are down on the frame somewhere. So if you do have one of these, it's a good idea to go ahead and just swap out since it is part of regular maintenance anyways. But a clogged up fuel filter is going to cause weak fuel pressure. Weak fuel pressure can also be caused by a fuel pump that's going bad. So you can go test the fuel pump and be sure that it's working correctly. If you check the fuel pressure at the fuel rail and it tests good, then there might be something wrong with the injectors. One of them might have gone bad or it's not working correctly or clogged up or something along these lines. One way you can go about trying to see if one of the injectors has failed is that if you go look at the spark plugs on bank two and just see what the burn pattern is, then you can find out which cylinder or cylinders is having an issue because when the cylinder is firing, it gives off different burn patterns and there's burn charts that you can look up online or things like this that you can match to to find out how it's burning. For example, if you're getting too much gas, it's going to be really dark black. If it's burning lean, it's going to be much more white, depending on how lean it's burning. Like I said, there's burn charts you can look up online and match it to. And basically, once you find out which cylinder is not working correctly or burning lean, you can take out the injector on that cylinder and just check it out and see what it looks like. Do some different tests on it, things like this. But there's some different ways you go about trying to find if there's a bad injector. So that's just one method. But that is another thing that could cause this problem is going to be a bad injector. And then another thing that could cause this problem is going to be that there's a vacuum leak somewhere on the engine. And this basically means like one of these hoses has come off or something along these lines. Or there's a gasket leak up on the engine somewhere. And there's some different methods for trying to find a vacuum leak. Some mechanics will carry around like a spray. They'll start up the vehicle. And then wherever they think the leak's at, they spray the fluid. And if the engine idle changes, then they know that's where the leak's at. Another method is called the smoke machine method, where basically you use a smoke machine and you feed smoke into the intake and wherever the smoke comes out, then you know that's where the leak's at. And so that's a very common method. But the next thing to go and check for is going to be a vacuum leak. And that means going around, checking all these hoses. You could check the PCV valve, which is a very common leak point. 
And basically, just look at all those hoses and try to see if there's a vacuum leak. Because if there is a vacuum leak, then it's going to cause issues. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P0174 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.